Hey everyone, so welcome to my series of the Law of One Tarot. What I wanna do in the next few weeks is I really wanna break down the major arcana from the Law of One. The reason I wanna do this is because, you know, nowadays we all, I do too, use tarot for divination. It's just kind of fun. Like, I, I do use it for divination, but it's not meant for divination whatsoever. Tarot, when it was developed and gifted to us by Ra, from, it was started at, in the planet Venus. So these are all archetypes. Now, if you want more information of the history of the Law of One and the history of the Law of One Tarot, I would suggest that you go to Brian Scott's channel. He does a really good synopsis. I'm not gonna go through all of that. I'm just gonna dive right into the teachings. Also, I'm gonna be down, I did a workbook. I created a workbook for people to um, do this with me, to learn the tarot as I teach it. I'm going to provide a link. I just have to fix it. I just have to do a few more things to it so that you can um, you can download it and work with me if you like. So we already talked about how the tarot, the major arcana, actually represents spiritual pathways. So, but today, before I get into the spiritual pathways, that's gonna take some time, weeks actually. But before we get into that, I just want to represent to you the actual original major arcana and how they what how, what they look like. So in, they were drawn out in Egypt, and this is basically what the major arcana looked like. The only card that we're missing here is the choice card. So there's 22, including the choice card. And the reason for the tarot, like I said, was they represent spiritual pathway so as you expand your journey onto consciousness and this is how they help me so i'm finally ready to start this series because i used these pathways to help me understand oh okay so right now i'm in the phase of right here holding on i need to get out of this card we call this the hermit card and this is the it's tomas it's like this card is when you're just wound up in your own grief you're wound up in the material world so when i know i'm here i was like okay so then i need more faith okay i i have to have more faith so this is just a really quick example of how the major arcana are spiritual pathways That'll come later. But what I wanna to explain today is that the 22 cards are, so these are all archetypes and they're placed in a certain order. So these cards up here, these seven cards from the magician to the chariot, these seven cards are represent your mind. So these seven cards here are your mind complex. So our body is divided into a mind complex, body complex, and a spirit complex. So this makes us up as individuals, okay? So we are comprised of the mind complex, the body complex, and the spirit complex. And this is represented in the tarot. So these 20, these 21 cards here are divided into the mind complex. So up from the magician to the chariot. And the next one is your body complex. So from the justice card to um, this one, it, it's temperance, but Ra actually calls temperance um, the, uh, it'll come to me, the alchemist. Ra actually calls the temp Tempress card, the alchemist, okay? So this here is your body complex, and then here is your spirit complex, and your spirit complex starts from the devil right to the world. So again, these cards here are formed into three groups, okay? So these three groups are the mind complex, 
the body complex and they're a representation of your body. So your material, us mater this material body, the, the cards are from justice to the alchemist, okay? So that's your body complex. And our spirit that resides within, within us, that's not running the show because the mind complex, the ego is running the show, but the spirit complex resides within us. And even though it's all tangled up in the devil right now, depending on the level of your consciousness and the awakening energetically, vibrationally where you're at, it can go from the, it goes from the devil all the way to the world. So once you're, you let your spirit out and your spirit begins to work its blueprint and its contract for what it's here to do, the lessons it's here to learn, this is the movement. So it's from the devil to the world. Then you've got the world. You've got the essence, the vibration, the sound. She's, she's holding one of those like Har har harps or whatever they're called. It's just beautiful once you get here. So those are the three groups that the 21 cards are placed into. So next we have, so you've got, so next what we have is we've got, they're further split up, okay? So these, 21 cards are broken into three groups, the mind cycle, the physical complex, and then the spiritual cycle. And the last complex complex is the choice, which it's, it's not on here, but there is a choice card. And the choice card is actually the fool in our, in our tarot deck that we have today. So once these, so, so now that you know how they work, this way, I'm going to te take you down um, how these cards work downwards this way. So the first essence that we have is the matrix. So the magician, the justice card, and the devil. So then you've got the mind complex here how the mind complex works with the body complex works with the spirit complex is the matrix. Follow along? So remember, seven going this way, this is all your mind complex, okay? The seven going this way, this is all your physical body, your body complex. The seven going this way, this is all your spirit complex. That's us, mind, body, spirit. Now we're going to go down this way and we're going to look at how the mind complex, the body complex, and the spirit complex, how they mingle together. So how these three mingle, magician, justice, and the devil is called the matrix. So this is the first density. You can also think of it as your root chakra. Okay, so you can kind of, you can relate this to your chakras as well. So the matrix is first density. It's the material world that's around us. And we will go through the cards in later sessions. So it's the material, the matrix, the illusion. And within the illusion, we're st still wound up in the mind. And then the body gets wound up from the mind because the body is the one that carries your suffering. It works with you. And if the mind is too, is being driven by the unconscious, which most people's is, then your spirit is stuck and wound up as the devil. It's, it can't get out. It actually is confused and it's the devil. So coming down this way, that is how these cards work. So that's, First density, your root chakra, your I am. Next, we look at the potentiator. So the potentiator is your unconscious mind. The potentiator is what's, no, sorry. The matrix is consciousness. It's male. It's your, it's your male, um, the aspects, the, so don't think of male man, think of the energy of yang, okay? The potentiator is the unconscious mind and is made, the mind complex is the high priestess, the body complex that holds on to it is the hermit, and then the spirit complex is the tower. 
So the potentiator is your the unconscious part of your mind. And the unconscious part of your mind is the one that rules the roost for most of us. Okay, so that's, this is your second density, and this is your sacral chakra. Next, we have the catalyst. So what affects the senses? What is it that's coming in, and the catalyst brings it and creates a sense experience? So this, the mind complex within the catalyst is the empress, Within the body complex of the catalyst is your wheel of fortune. And then within the spirit complex of the catalyst is faith. So are you following around? Following, following along. Now the catalyst is also your unconscious mind. The catalyst is your third density where we're living now. And it is your sacral chakra, your I do in life. So again, it is the female aspect of us, as is the unconscious mind at, for the potentiator. It's the female aspect of us. It's the yin. Yin cannot be, cannot be activated without yang. So consciousness, the matrix, the box usually, plugs into the potentiator and the potentiator begins to un, like record experiences from childhood whenever. And then we have the catalyst, like how we interpret these experiences to our senses, which is, like I said, the third density, what we're here, here for. So the fourth row is your experience. So how are you going to experience the catalyst? And remember, the catalyst is still your unconscious. So now you've got double female energy, double yin, double unconscious, in between two yang, in between two conscious energies. So the experience of the mind is the emperor, and this is now your fourth density. So your fourth density is love and understanding. And this is our experience to the catalyst, to the potentiator, to the matrix. So you've got your mind complex, your, the emperor, okay, that's the emperor. Your body complex is the temptress, and that's the strength card in tarot, but Ra calls it the temptress. And then you've got your spirit complex, which is the moon card, okay? So this Fourth density, which is your heart chakra, is the experience that we're going to receive from these four cards stimulating and working together. So remember, we've got consciousness, the unconscious, the unconscious, and then again, the yang energy, consciousness once again. Then we have the fifth density, which is the significant self. It's the significator. So this here is the is the actor and the acted upon the significator your significant self which is the fifth density like i said which is your throat chakra your i speak is the hierophant so the mind complex is the hierophant this is your significant self and just i really just want to say, and I shouldn't, but this is your real I am. I know the root chakra is your I am, but it's, it's more of a falsehood. Once you get to the significator, this is your truth. This is your real I am, your spirit. So let's, let's talk about it. So significator, the mind complex, of the significator is the hierophant. The body complex of the significator is the hanged man. The spirit complex of the significator is the sun card. So we have the mind complex of your significant self, the hierophant. The body complex of your significant self is the hanged man. The spirit complex of your significant self is the sun. 
And this is our throat chakra. This is I speak and it's your true self. Next, we have transformation, which is your third eye. And it's the sixth chakra, the I see. So the transformation for the mind complex, the transformation card is the lovers. The body complex for transformation is death. And the spirit complex for transformation is judgment. Your third eye. This is the sixth density. The density of wisdom. So we're just going to say it one more time. Mind for transformation is the lover's card. Body complex for transformation is death. Spirit complex for transformation is judgment. Okay, the last one we have is the great way. So the great way is once you've worked all through this, the great way is beautiful. It's where you want to be, but it's gonna take all this shadow work to go through first. So the great way, the mind complex of the great way is the chariot. The body complex of the great way is the alchemist, the temptress. No, not the temptress, the alchemist. I can't remember, Hierophant, it's the Hierophant. And then the great way, the spirit complex is the world. So I'm 16 minutes in. Um, and I hope that gives you a little bit of an understanding. If I were you and you're really into this and you want to learn spiritual pathways from the tarot, even if you're a tarot reader, because I do tarot too, it really helps. I don't do readings for others, just friends. But it really helps when you know the spiritual pathways and you're doing cards because you help people more at a, like at a higher vibrational energetic level in the sense where you can talk to them about their spiritual pathway when you see certain cards coming up together. So I will put a link for my, for my workbook if you want to work along, but you could download this. It's in my book, but you can download it even and follow along as you like. So these are the con, they're all, like I said, these are all archetypes and archetypes are basically a, a complex in themselves that have a concept attached to it. So we'll go through that. I'm already 17 minutes in, but we'll kind of go through the, the, what archetype means and what a concept complex is and how it relates to an archetype. And then I have so much more that I wanted to talk about, but we will do that um, in vlog number two. And I'm excited because I've already written them out and we'll be talking more about the matrix and the potentiator of the mind in my next vlog, which I may even do tomorrow. And we'll really kind of get into the magician and the high priestess. And basically, before I go, I also want to say that these represent the higher mind and the egoic lower mind. And when you break through this, so the lower mind is space time, the higher mind, the cosmic mind is time space. And a breakthrough needs to occur in order to get to the time space, the cosmic mind where you have access to the great way. And I'll explain that breakthrough I think tomorrow. Yeah, here's the, here's, I'll explain that more tomorrow. Anyways, I hope that helps. It was my first really long vlog. Let me know what you guys think of it. Love you guys. Bye.